Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. Wild, controversial game tonight in Dallas, 118-117. Hawks fall to the Mavericks who had everything a basketball fan could want. A great duel between Trey Young and Luka Doncic. A fantastic night for John Collins. The Hawks with the ball at the end of regulation with a chance to win. Basically a win or lose shot opportunity. And this was after they blew a 13-point lead. And the second half here is how it all unfolded. Trey bounces it in the lane for Clint Capella. Clint catches up to it, lays it up and in. Boy, I don't know how he was able to catch up to it, but he did. And the Hawks have a 12-point lead now for the first time, 64-52. Now Cam bouncing way outside with it, trying to get it to Trey. They're holding him all over the place. Trey catches it finally. Now he looks for help, bounces it down to John Collins, and he lays it up and in right over Doncic. 16 for John Collins, and another assist for Trey. That's his seventh, 66-54 Hawks lead. Gallo holds it up top. Now he looks... Bounces it a couple of times off to Kevin Herter. Kevin dribbling down towards the lane. Dribbles behind his back. Drives and lays it up and in. Beautiful play by Kevin Herter. He's in double figures with 11. Hawks up 70 to 58. Trey back for the Hawks now leading by 7. Trey gets it back on a give and go. Now Trey up back out to Gallo. Straight away 3. Good finally for Danilo Gallinari. A big three-pointer and the Hawks back up by 10. 73-63. Now they go on the left wing to Brunson. Brunson down low. Willie Cauley-Stein has it. Now he backs in. Right hand hook shot is good. Willie Cauley-Stein with a dozen and the lead is down to six now. 83-77. Two minutes to go third quarter. Trey dribbling in the middle. Now he goes left. Solomon Hill. Open three. Solomon Hill is good. That is a big time three-pointer by Solomon Hill. Hawks up by nine again. 86-77. Doncic bouncing on their logo. Now starts to dribble left with five. Doncic double team. Goes to Brunson. Fakes. Brunson, foul line floater is good right at the buzzer. So we have now reached the end of three quarters of play, and your score, it's the Hawks 90 and the Mavericks 81. Oh boy, this fourth quarter has started out like a real dud for the Hawks here. 90 to 86, Hawks leading. Now Tim Hardaway to the basket again, lays it up and in again. Now Trey looking, goes way outside Kevin Herter. Kevin a long straightaway three, he's got it. Oh, what a big shot by Kevin Herter. He's got 16 points on the night, that's his third three. 93-88, Hawks lead. Trey Young against Brunson. Trey spins now, bounces it underneath. Kevin Herter, a little right hand floater is good. Kevin with 18 on the night now. The Hawks back up by four. 95 91. Six on the 24. A long three by Doncic is good. And the Mavericks have taken the lead. 104 101. Kevin brings it up with the Hawks down by three. Goes in the corner. Tony Snell, a three pointer is good. Tony Snell ties the game at 109 with 345 remaining. Trey tricky dribbles. Trey behind his back. Kevin Herter, wide open Kevin, and he knocks down the three. Kevin Herter with 23 points on the night. Hawks have cut it to a point, 113 to 112. Now Trey in the middle. Trey drives. Trey alley -oop. John Collins jams at home. 33 for John Collins and 15 assists for Trey Young. Trey in the middle. Oh, he lets fly with a long three, and he makes it. Oh, 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 oh. oh just what you think. No, don't do it. He did it. 118, 117, Hawks trailing. All right, here we go. Kevin Herter's got the ball and ready to put it in play. Trey just got knocked down. There's no call. Out it goes to Gallo. Gallo driving. Gallo, pull up two-pointer. No good. And that's the game. So, a heartbreaker. Final score, Dallas 118 and the Hawks 117. And again, what you did not hear in that final highlight as the way, in fact, before the ball was inbounded, Trey Young makes contact with Willie Cauley Stein. Trey falls to the floor. Lloyd Pierce says the referees told him that uh, Trey could have been called for an illegal screen. It certainly looked on the multiple replay angles that I saw that it was a foul on Willie Cauley Stein. It would have been a technical foul, by the way, because the ball had not yet been inbounded. Uh, regardless, uh, the Hawks end up losing 118 to 117. They fall to 11 and 13. That's now eighth in the East. And Dallas improves to 12 and 14. That will move them to 11th in the West. The Hawks will have tomorrow night off. They'll play San Antonio on Friday. And we'll take a quick look at that game right after this on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. Oh.